Hello, and thank you for joining me. I've got a really easy one for you today. Soft, chewy, chocolate chip cookies. Anyone who likes chocolate is gonna love these, and it's really easy to make this recipe gluten-free if you need to. So, let's get to it. This recipe makes eight large cookies. First, let's get our dry ingredients together, which takes no time at all. I've got here just one ounce of flour. I'm using all-purpose, but you could easily use a gluten-free flour substitute. Because this recipe uses so little flour, you won't even notice the substitution if you go down that road. Now I've got a teaspoon of baking powder, and a simple pinch of salt, about a quarter teaspoon. Whisk that all together, and that's all for the dry ingredients. Now let's move on to the star of the show, chocolate. I'm going to melt the chocolate on the stove, so I'm just measuring that right into the pot. I have seven ounces of dark chocolate and two tablespoons of butter. I put that pot on the stove on a low heat and keep stirring just until the chocolate and butter has melted. Now set that aside to cool slightly while we take care of the rest of the ingredients. I've got two large eggs and two thirds a cup of sugar. I get those together in a bowl and whisk those ingredients until the color lightens and the mixture gets slightly airy. Now because these are double chocolate cookies, I've got some more chocolate. This is five ounces of milk chocolate. I like using milk chocolate because I like having variety in the mix, but you could certainly use dark chocolate for both applications. And I personally like bigger chunks in my cookies, so I'm cutting this bar up myself, but you are welcome to use chips instead. Now let's get everything together. First, I add my chocolate butter mix to the sugar egg mix. Just whisk everything until it's smooth. Now we just stir in our dry mixture. Then we add our chocolate chips or chunks. Now as you can see, our cookie dough is pretty loose. We just want to cover that and pop it in the fridge and wait until it tightens up a bit. We want it to hold just enough so we can scoop it. Think sort of like the consistency of Play-Doh. Once we are there, we can form our cookies. If you want to be precise, you can weigh them out. I do about 2.5 ounces a cookie or you can simply try and divide the dough up as evenly as possible. Remember, we are aiming for about eight cookies. I ended up with eight normal ones and one little guy. Now I get a piece of parchment paper on a baking tray, and then I try to space those cookies out as evenly as I can. This is something I usually second guess myself on, and then I end up rearranging them. And once you've got them spaced out on the baking tray, we go into a 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius oven for just 8 to 10 minutes, or until they look like this. Crackled tops with slightly fudgy centers. Let those cool on the sheet tray before you remove them. These are still a little warm, but I just really wanted to crack one open and show you the inside. Pure chocolate glory. As you can see, these are delicious as is, nothing not to love, but if you are feeling adventurous, get out some of your favorite ice cream, homemade if you can manage, and then you can spoon some of that ice cream out onto the bottom side of one of your cookies. Try and make it as even as possible and work quickly because it's ice cream after all. Now seal the deal with another cookie and you've got a very indulgent ice cream sandwich. Pop it into the freezer for a bit so the ice cream has a chance to harden up because it's a little soft from being worked with. And now you can give that to someone special in your life and maybe they won't be able to finish it and then they'll share some of it with you. You're gonna love it. Thank you for joining me. Something as simple as making a batch of cookies can really brighten up a day. So I hope you pop into your kitchen and get to it. Let me know what you think about these cookies in the comment section. And as always, hitting that like button is much appreciated. Until next time, cheers.